What is up? Matthew Demore here with the Daily Space Home Track Review. Today we're going to be listening to Alexander Lewis's remix of Flames by Troy Boy. If you aren't already familiar with Alexander Lewis, he's a trap producer. When you listen to his music, you're going to notice that he has some of the best and brightest horns that you'll ever hear uh, in all of trap music, period. I believe he plays a trombone. He might play also other brass instruments because it seems like the only way he could get some of these, these sounds is if he sampled them from his own instrumentation. On the other hand, Troy Boy is a UK bass producer that also makes uh, trap, but also can make some more futuristic sort of sounding beats. I would say that Troy Boy is in the more of the vein of a Flumar Mr. Carmack, where there's a lot of experimentation with his sounds, rather than Alexander Lewis, who's more straightforward with his style and his sounds. Now, I don't know if this is my fault as a listener, but I only knew of Troy Boy from the really terrible Star Wars Headspace album. We, we, don't, we don't need to talk about this catastrophe, this EDM catastrophe that was this album. Um, I really only became a fan of him uh, when he released his uh, Left Is Right album uh, in the past year. Although, I think this album is super slept on. There's definitely a song for everyone um, if you're into any sort of beat music period. And if you're not a fan of trap music or any futuristic beats, there's also dance songs on it as well. The album even has a song with Ice Cube on it. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of both these guys. I'm already really familiar with the song Flames because it was on the Left Is Right album. The song already features these horns, but to me, the trombone trumpet sample that Troy Boy chose to use was is extremely lo-fi and, and sounds like a really basic Nexus sample that uh, any of us could just pull up. Very little processing on it. Doesn't sound as clean, especially in comparison to Alexander Lewis. So I think that in this remix we're going to be getting Alexander Lewis's horns on this already really sweet track and hopefully it's just gonna enhance and make this beautiful, beautiful banger for all of us to listen to. Might be slightly sped up. His horns are just, sound so huge and amazing. I can't get over it. Woo yes, it's a double drop, what is this? That was nice. That part where it completely just goes up in tension and pitch mid drop did not expect that at all anytime you just have horns going up or down in pitch sounds amazing i like that the cadence that he picked for his melody is still more dancey it has more bounce to it rather than more like a jumpy headbang sort of vibe definitely some smooth definitely wouldn't mind playing this in the car definitely gonna lift to this be doing some nice squats with this one there's usually a pan flute in this part but he put it out for a little ambient pad or something. Yep, I like the extra build. Good. Psych him out. I like it. Let's go. He did the super saws. Why did I see that coming? He did this. He did the super saws. Super, super lush. I love how he layered the trombone back in. Hopes it's a trombone. I still don't know my brass instruments. I didn't expect that second drop at all. And I'm pleasantly surprised that those super saws were very lush, layered super well. The drums and the low end on the song were surprisingly good. There was a couple percussive elements that I thought, how do I explain this? Essentially there's a song with him, Asner Lewis and Y2K where they did a collaboration and I thought Y2K was doing a lot of the drum fill percussion stuff. But in this case, turns out Asner Lewis it's got it going on with the drums too. So, impressive showing by Alexander Lewis. 
I think it was gonna blow up. Hopefully gonna give the original song love too, because I think that song's also slept on pretty heavily. What did you guys think of the song? Uh, comment if you think this is better than the original. Uh, do you think this is Alexander Lewis's best yet? Uh, how does it stack up to your other songs they've heard so far in 2018? Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'll see you guys next time. Mantra. Not